So guys, I just came home to this pair of shoes that I've been waiting for. They are a gift from my girlfriend, Susan. And I just want to capture like this moment when I first see the color because it is going to be pretty epic. I've been wanting this color for a long time. And this is a special order, which took a while. I'm really excited. Let's have a look at how she looks like. This is a pair of Gianvito Rossi Mary Janes, which are my absolute favorite shoes of the moment. I have got it in black and white. They are so comfortable. I've been trying to get another pair in another color. So here's, oh my God. Oh gee, they are so pretty. They are so pretty in this really beautiful shade of pink suede and I wanted a lighter pink to match my Rose Sakura handbag. This one is even prettier. At least the color is more vibrant and it's still a very candy, I mean I won't say it's like totally candy but really pretty. It looks like the roses that are in front of me now. Pretty much the same pink. I love them so much. Thank you Susan. I really love the color and this pair of shoes. I can wear them tomorrow because I have a pink outfit that will look absolutely perfect with these shoes. I received this huge carton. Let's see what's in there. Whoa, very, very nicely wrapped. <gasps> From Dr. Barbara Shrem. Okay, there's a sticker, so I'm just going to have to peel it. It is the event calendar! So this is this year's Dr. Barbara Shrum event calendar and I always, always love receiving these at the end of the year. It's just my thing. Inside, there would be like little surprises. Let's just take out one of the surprise. I'm not gonna like do all 30 days of it. Let's just see what number 23 is. Oh, travel size super anti-aging hand cream. One of the hand creams that I absolutely swear by. And you guys know that I only apply hand cream at bedtime because I don't want the cream to get on the handles on my handbag. Okay, shall we do one more? Just one more. Number nine. Let's do number nine. Lifting serum. These are really good for traveling. They're just the right size, even if I am on a long trip. So they're very, very handy to have for my travels. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? I'm going to do a video on shoes. So stay tuned. Who is that little head peeking out of my back house? So Calista is here today and she wants to watch Mummy shoot a YouTube. Ah! She's running away. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to All About Jamie. I know how much you guys love my handbag content, but we have had three weeks of handbags. Today, we are going to talk shoes. As you guys can see that I have many, many, many shoes, but I'm always wearing the same few pairs. I gotta say that there isn't like more than 20 pairs of shoes here that I always wear when I go out. And why is that so? Because my pet peeve is uncomfortable shoes. They may be so pretty and mean, I love looking at them in the closet, but when they start to pinch me, I absolutely cannot go on my day with painful shoes, which is why I and particular about the comfort of my shoes and when the shoe fits, I actually would get them in every color. Some girls would suffer for pain. Beauty is pain, they always say. But for me, the pain is going to show right on my face. I would be crying if my shoes 
are like killing me. So I want to share with you guys which are the shoes that I swear by these days and are comfortable for me. So I'm going to share with you guys which are the shoes that work for me and perhaps might work for you. Like everybody else, we are never tall enough. I stand at 1.67 meters tall and I still feel that I could do with a little bit of height. But most of the high heel shoes are just too uncomfortable for me. But lately, I found some that worked for me. They're from Giambito Rossi. I have them here and I'm going to show you my favorite styles because not every style from this brand works for me as well. I've got some really pretty ones like peep toe sandals. I have many pairs of their peep toe sandals which looks fabulous and like really sexy but I will call them like a two hour shoe because after two hours I just cannot bear the pain of it it doesn't have a platform and it has a stiletto these are great they're the best and most comfortable ones and they also come with the height that will make us look so much taller. I've got them in white. If you look at my Instagram, you will see that I wear these a lot to the point that I've got people commenting, why is she always wearing the same shoes? So there guys, the reason why I'm always wearing the same shoes is that I can party all night and run in these heels. They are so versatile, I swear. I've been wearing them a lot with black stockings. I like wearing them with black stockings because black stockings make me look so much thinner. It makes me look like I have legs for days and really, really slim legs. I would pair these with black stockings too. If you see from my picture right here, that I actually wore it to the recent L party with my Farah Angsana dress with a cape. I was wearing black stockings and with this pair of white Mary Janes. And I was wearing this pair to a Galan event as well lately and I wore black stockings with them. So you can actually wear them like a regular pump. These are a bit taller. Are they? No, they are exactly the same height and this is the other pair with the removable straps these are nice because they're very nude i have worn them with white netted stockings so yeah i like to play around with like my leggings my stockings it just makes the shoes look so much more interesting and of course make the shoes look different since i'm wearing them like almost on a daily basis huh and people think that i have no shoes so yes i have no shoes. Sometimes if I want it to be a little bit more comfortable, I put like a half insole, just kind of like padded. So it makes it a little tighter and it won't drop, <laughs> drop off if I'm wearing it without the straps. So a half insole like this actually works really well. And another tip for you shoe lovers out there, if you don't want like your new pair of shoes to be slippery, this is what I use. This non-slip sticker is my favorite one. It's by the brand Columbus. I've tried many other brands. I don't like them. These are the best. So this is how you do it. Don't paste them the wrong way, all right? So this is the wrong way. You gotta see like the shape of the sole before you do it. So this goes this way and just paste it right in the center like that, okay? This is the right way to do it. And they will prevent you from slipping in case you're walking like feeling so beautiful and tall. Everybody's looking at you and there you slip and fall. That is going to be super embarrassing. These Valentino Tangos are gorgeous. They are just like God's gift to long legs. They are 16 centimeters tall. They work wonders for my legs, especially with a short dress. Go to flash some pictures of me wearing these. And after that ball, I only wear these shoes at home when I'm taking like my reels or pictures. <laughs> Yes, because I almost died wearing them. It was like the most painful experience ever. Although it has quite a generous 
platform and quite a block heel, but the arch was not at the most comfortable level. So these are very, very pretty. They are Amina Muadis. I've got two pairs of her shoes, both in the transparent sandal style. She's famous for her transparent shoes. So I've got these two pairs, they are in silver. I love them because they look like Cinderella shoes. And one is in a wedge, and the other one has this little like a martini glass heel. I like this pair better than the wedges because the wedges can be a tiny bit unstable if you're not careful. So I have to be very, very careful when I'm wearing the wedges. These are good really pretty with like long dresses and with short dresses or short skirts it actually makes you look like you have legs for days because there's nothing cutting off your silhouette so these are not available for sale unless you special order them they're in a pink suede it's very soft and very comfortable you can special order them from the store in italy that's what my friend did she ordered herself a pair and me a pair so we can twin in these shoes soon they're quite a perfect match with the dress not the exact exact pink but as long as it's in the same family of pinks there are pinks that have got more purple more blues in it and there are pinks that have tinge of orange towards the warmer side instead of the cooler side. They're great and super comfortable. I'm just going to go out for my dinner in this outfit. I've got many matching handbags with this one. And again, I gotta choose one that has got the orange in it. Like the family of pink has got to have that slight tinge of orange in it. The rose confetti works as well. I'm going to go with one of these bags tonight. This would be nicer match, but I think I wanna wear this one because it's just easier and I could put a lot of things. This is kind of flat and a bit long, to be honest. This one will not match as well. It's the cooler tone, the bubblegum pink. It's a true pink that has no uh, purple, no orange, no, it's just really, really pink, pink. How about this one? Well, it's... Well, you can. I'm not saying that you can't. This is Rose Azali. It's cute. If you want to use a bigger bag, like for the daytime, this would work. But I'm going out for dinner to an event, so I'll go with a smaller bag. So I'm going to go with this lizard one. Well, it aged. It yellowed because of the sunlight, because of the air, you know, uh, prevent that from happening. We all need sunlight, we need air to live, but somehow it will cause oxidation for your handbags. So before you purchase a light color lizard handbag, know that it's going to be some color that you will not recognize in time. Well, guys, I'm just going to try on this pair of Amina before I do the Valentinos because these are so easy to just slip on and they're quite stable. I don't feel like I'm going to be super stressed by it if I wear them out for many hours. Well, I don't know because they're new and I haven't gone out in them yet. Just like Cinderella shoes, you can see that my silhouette instantly became longer, I look taller. Actually, this pair of shoes will go with this outfit as well. Now, I'm really going to put on my favourite shoes. This one. I love them. They make me look so hot. But I will die. Gosh, even sitting down, I don't feel good already. Whew. If I put on a 16 centimeter heel like this, and I'm 167, Mei Mei, 167 plus 16, I will be 183 cm tall. That's why Terence hates it. 
But you know, when I wore them, he said, so we're looking at the mirror in the lift. He said, I'm not shorter than you. You know why? Because he put on his highest shoe as well. You know, men have got the slight platformy shoes. You know, men are paying too. And they also appreciate the extra height. Especially if your lady is wearing the Valentino Tango. I love it. I just wish I had more durable feet. Let's make a comparison. I'm going to wear um, one on each of my legs. Looking a little bit weird, but it's only because of the difference in height from this one to this one. This is the difference. Well, of course, of course, the Tango looks fabulous. Legs for days. Yeah, the bees are all right. They don't give you legs for days. Would you trade comfort for beauty? I guess it depends on where you're going. So if I'm just going from the car to dinner and I figure I will not be standing most of the time, I could possibly wear this pair. But if I know that it's going to be a standing cocktail or like I'll be doing a lot of walking, standing and all that, I wouldn't take the chance, so I will go with this pair. It all depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing. Tonight, I am going to go with a pink one, of course. I don't think I will be standing too much. I could go with this pair and look super hot, but I think I will wear the pink one because they're new and they're so, so pretty. So I took off my shoes and I'm back to basic. I want to show you guys the kind of stockings that I use with my heels. I've got a few netted stockings. I like to play with netted styles with my heels as well. And this is my hosiery drawer. So where all my hosieries are. My favourite ones, I've got Wolford, mostly Wolford and Calcedonia. I've got tons and tons of Wolford. You can see, you can see that I'm quite the obsessive girl over my hosiery. Oh, where are my black ones? My black ones. Do I still have black ones? Okay, I found them and in a drawer full of like at least 50 pairs of stockings, I have got one new black one left. I think I've torn them all. The one I buy is the second skin 15 denier tights. It says run resistant, invisible toe mat, but it's not run resistant. I've torn like many, many, many pairs, but um, they are pretty durable. I think I must have torn them with like my jewelry. You know, sometimes when you wear jewelry with claws like that and you accidentally go over your stockings, they will tear no matter how run resistant they call it. It doesn't mean they won't tear. It's like if you snag on it, it will not run like the whole, it will just be a hole there. And yes, I have got several occasions where I created holes in my stocking. So I've got to throw them away. I mean, unless it's the new look and moth bitten stockings are in style, then perhaps I might wear them. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And now I am going for my event and dinner in this outfit. Ciao. See you in the next one.